Hey guys, thank you for watching. I will be making a series of videos about the changes and modifications uh, uh, well, which I will do to my cars. So today on the bench is my Traxxas TRX4 Sport and we are going to change the motor. So this is the stock motor, it's a, a 550 sized motor, it's uh, the Titan 21 turns, which is a pretty good motor, but in my opinion the ride can be much smoother when you are using a 5 slot motor motor. So this is just a three slot and uh, the, the slow crawling capabilities is not the best which I will demonstrate right now. So when I'm throttling up nothing happens at the beginning. So if you look at the car so nothing happens now it did something see but yeah it's 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 pretty quick in the lowest crawl mode you see and now it's hitting my hand and you have to yeah throttle up to overcome only just a tiny bit so i have uh, laying around uh, an older uh, crawler motor this is from surpass hobby it's a 12 turn and it's got five slots yeah if yeah, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. So we are changing uh, the standard one uh, to this motor and just see what happens. So the first thing to do, shut the power off, deconnect uh, the battery and you've got a couple of screws which you should remove. So you've got one over there, one over there and one over there and then the motor can be taken out of the case. So three screws removed, let's disconnect uh, uh, the leads. And now the motor assembly can be taken off. So it's held in by three screws and this is just a cover plate which is holding the motor uh, onto its place. So it's a very, a very easy design but it's very sturdy. So uh, you've got a lot of different settings, uh, you should check the, uh, the manual to see uh, uh, which you should use. If you're changing the gearing, then you should also use different holes. We are not going to change the gearing, we are just going to use the, this stock one. Um, yeah, but so we have to remember it is in the third hole, as you can see. This the the first, second, and the third. So we are going to use exactly the same holes uh, um, with the other motor. So first thing to do is remove the screws. Let's change the bit. Then we are going to loosen those two screws. And uh, then you have got this small screw that's holding in the gear. So let's take a smaller one. So it's locked tight in, so we need a little bit of heat to uh, get it loose. I'm using a guest powered soldering iron without the soldering tip on there that should be enough and let's remove the screw well it's not doing it it's stripped already from the factory off so we have got a bit of a problem now so to overcome this what you can do is just use not um, uh, this one uh, this bit but you're using um, a, a torx bit and just hammer it a bit in there so it's tight and snug and then you can remove the screw So 
So finally, the pinion gear is uh, is off. It took me quite a quite a effort to get it off because the screw uh, what, that was holding it was totally stripped inside. So uh, yeah, I just heated it up uh, quite a bit and then used a, to uh, a torx uh, a bit to put it in there, and then I was eventually able to get it off. So this one is just going into the bin. Uh, I've got a different one uh, which we are going to use uh, to connect it to the other motor. So uh, one thing to notice that the shaft length. So if you look at the two shafts of the motors, the uh, original one from the Traxxas is quite a bit longer than the one that we are going to put in there. So what we are actually going to do, uh, it was mounted like this on the Traxxas motor, but we are going to reverse this one uh, like this uh, and then the gearing in uh, to the main gear to the spur gear would be uh, okay again so um, uh, Let's first put the plate back on The motor plate so you have to remember that we were using the third uh, hole so we need to put it exactly back in the third one otherwise your gearing uh, mesh won't be good and you can strip the gears easily so that's the first that's the second don't overdo them just tight but don't overdo them so that's the first part the second part is to get uh, the gear back on so I am just using a tiny bit of Loctite on there So it won't come off. Just a tiny drop is enough for this. And then we are going to mount the screw or the yeah back in the hole. And now on the shaft itself, just pay attention that uh, it lines uh, it's in line with the uh, main spur gear in the car itself but it should be right it should be fine like this let's test it out yeah can you see that it's just perfect like this so let's tighten it and then let's put the motor back in so that's good enough now to put the motor back in you've got uh, uh, the motor plate or the holder itself so this is fairly easily to do there's only one way to do it it just slides over the motor uh, mount itself and then you can put it all back in there so and then put the three screws back in there don't over tighten them just snug that's good enough so that's good enough so another thing to uh, to remember um, is that the the tighter motor from t the, from Traxxas is a reversed motor. So what that means that the rotation is different than the standard ones. So if we are going to wire uh, uh, put the wires back on, you should do red into black and vice versa. So like this, otherwise your car will drive into the wrong direction of course you can reverse the throttle but yeah let's do it this way that's uh, that's the easiest way to do so let's see uh, what the slow crawl capabilities is at this moment with the different motor in there if we drive slowly again you see that's much much better than the stock motor from Traxxas So uh, that was it for today, uh, please stay tuned to my channel, I will do a lot more modifications to my cars. If you got any questions please leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel. 
Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.